the litmus milk test. With something like this, you have the control, which is obviously the purple right here, and then we have the S aureus. And so although they look the same, we do have a color change here. So um, you're going to look, is it more pink or more purple or more blue, and you're going to make your, draw your conclusions from there. Um, right here, the pinch of soil, you're going to notice the hard curds up on the side. The hard curds on the side of the chunks are going to be CO2, acidic, and ATP production. With something that's pink like this, um, pink represents the fermentation of lactose. And then at the bottom, I believe this would be called a curd right here. So with the curd at the bottom, that's acidic ATP. Um, going further, I'm looking for the one that's creamy. This one's going to be considered creamy, and a creamy is going to be reduction of litmus as well. And we can have the curds there that are up on the side. Um, the important thing to realize is just the colors of each tube and what each color represents and what the breakdown is, whether it's fermentation of lactose, alkalinization, or peptidization. A clear or kind of an apple juicy color is going to be peptidization, but refer to your charts and just be aware of what the colors are when um, looking into them.